Welcome to our channel. Today, I will explain a 2022 American computer animated science fiction action adventure film, Lightyear. In uncharted space, 4.2 million light years from the Earth, a Star Command exploration vessel nicknamed the Turnip carrying a crew of 1,200 personnel discovered an unknown planet. Shortly after, Space Ranger Buzz Lightyear is awoken from hibernation. Buzz decides to investigate signs of life in the unknown World County Prime. He surveys the planet and keeps a log of his findings. Suddenly, he is interrupted by his commanding officer and best friend, Alicia Hawthorne. Alicia also brings along a rookie Feathering Hampston. Buzz argues that Feathering Hampston is underqualified for the mission, but Alicia convinces him otherwise. Out of nowhere, the ship is attacked by sentient vines. The crew is unaware of the hostile sentient vines until Feathering Hampston is attacked by a vine. Buzz and Alicia are also attacked by strange bugs, and Buzz declares the planet inhabitable. The trio makes their escape to the turnip. Buzz attempts to fly the turnip out of County Prime, but the autopilot assistant warns him that he will end up crashing the vessel. Buzz insists he can get them off the planet and ends up causing the ship to crash despite his best efforts. The crash destroys the hyperspace fuel crystal they need to be able to travel back to Earth. Buzz feels guilty for ruining the crew's chances of leaving the planet and stranding them. He tells Alicia he will bear the full consequences of his actions, but Alicia wants him to finish the mission instead. Buzz then volunteers to test pilot a new spaceship with a newly developed hyperspace fuel crystal. The crew can return home if the test is successful and the crystal achieves hyperspeed. One year later, the crew constructed a new colony to conduct repairs and develop the new hyperspace fuel crystal. Buzz prepares for the test flight and launches into space. However, the fuel becomes unstable and Buzz cannot reach hyperspeed. He is given only four minutes to execute the flight and return to Tkani Prime. However, Buzz returns to base and discovers that while he was gone for four minutes, four years have passed on Tkani Prime. Alicia and everyone he left on the planet minutes ago is now four years older. Buzz learns that his disastrous first test flight was compromised by time dilation. Distraught, Buzz wants to try again, but Alicia advises him not to as it will cost another four years. Later, Alicia reveals she is engaged to a scientist named Kiko, whom she met three years ago. Buzz is happy for her, but sad that he missed three years of her life. As Buzz settles in for the night, he finds a cat named Socks in his room. He learns that Socks is a personal companion robot programmed by Alicia with the behaviors of a cat. Socks will be an AI therapist to Buzz and help him return to life on Tkani Prime. That night, Buzz has a nightmare about failing to get the crew off the planet. In the morning, he is motivated to conduct more test flights despite Alicia's warnings to wait on testing new hyperspace fuel crystal formulas until they find another way to return home. Despite Alicia's reluctant approval, Buzz continues more test flights, and each time, for years pass, and the test fails. Buzz returns to find Alicia with a child after the first test flight. The second time, her son is a graduate. The third time, Alicia now has a grandchild. When Buzz returns from his last flight, Buzz discovers that Alicia has died of old age. Buzz is heartbroken. Alicia has left him a recording where she shares her hope of being a space ranger again and says she wishes she would be around to see him complete the mission. She also introduces him to her granddaughter, Izzy, who wants to be a space ranger like them. Shortly after, Alicia's successor, Commander Cal Burnside, informs Buzz that the colony has given up on leaving the planet and is focused on developing a laser shield capable of protecting the territory from outside threats. Buzz is unhappy with the news. When Buzz returns to his room, he learns that Sox has finally completed the formula after 62 years. Buzz is overjoyed and believes that he can finally redeem himself. At that exact moment, Star Command sends personnel to decommission Sox, but Buzz escapes. Buzz intends to disobey Burnside's orders against conducting any more test flights. Buzz executes one last test flight with Sox and finally achieves hyperspeed. However, when he returns to base, he has skipped another 22 years into the future. 
Buzz meets a grown-up, Izzy, who saves him from a hostile alien robot. Izzy explains that an army of robots invaded Tkani Prime and attempted to enter the colony. However, they cannot enter the colony because it is protected by Burnside's laser shield. Izzy introduces Buzz to a group of cadets, M.O. and Darby, who have no combat or flight experience. Izzy reveals that they have a plan called Operation Surprise Party to destroy the robot's mother ship. Buzz is disappointed with the group after an encounter with one of the robots goes sideways. The robot then contacts the leader of the robot named Zerg. A frustrated Buzz decides to finish the mission himself. Still, the group insists on joining him on his mission to destroy the mother ship and use the hyperspace fuel crystal to move the colony off County Prime. Buzz finds his old mission suit and allows the group wears the other hyperspace mission suits so they can use stealth mode to escape from a nest of nasty bugs that attack them. Buzz and the group escape in a ship named Armadillo, but it is shot down by Zerg, stranding them. Momentarily, Izzy comes up with a plan to repair the damaged ship and continue their mission. The plan impresses Buzz, whom Izzy had been trying to impress. The group finds a mining facility with the part they need to restore power to the ship. Still, M.O. accidentally causes the destruction of the facility. M.O. feels guilty, but Buzz cheers him up as he has started to rely on them. He eventually allows Izzy, M.O., and Darby to join him and Sox in finishing the mission. As they continue the mission with Armadillo, Zerg and his robots attack them. In the clash, Buzz loses the hypercrystal. Heartbroken, Buzz wants to be by himself, but he is captured by Zerg. Izzy blames herself for failing to secure the hypercrystal and feels dejected. She feels even worse that she couldn't protect Buzz from Zerg. On the mothership, Zerg reveals that he is an older Buzz from an alternate future timeline. Zerg explains that in his timeline, he also reached hyperspace. Still, he wasn't given a warm welcome by Burnside and his men despite his efforts to get the colony off the planet. Burnside instead wanted to arrest him, so Zerg flew hundreds of years into the future where he encountered highly advanced technology and spent years developing a means to time travel. Zerg hoped he could travel back in time to prevent stranding the turnip and its crew on the planet and eventually redeem himself. However, Zerg had worn out his crystal through time travel and excessive usage. He decided to travel back to Buzz's present timeline to retrieve his crystal to complete his mission. Zerg also reveals that his robots call him B-Zerg because they cannot pronounce Buzz. Buzz is initially happy about the plan, but he realizes that Zerg's timeline is different. His time travel mission would erase Alicia and Kiko's life together, along with Izzy. Buzz also realizes he will lose his new friends and decides not to help Zerg. Zerg becomes furious and attacks Buzz. However, Buzz is saved by the alternate Sox, who are against Zerg's plan. The alternate Sox and Buzz locate the ship's control room and initiate a self-destruct sequence. Meanwhile, Izzy and the group plan to rescue Buzz. After a chaotic assault on Zerg's ship, the group manages to escape before it detonates. While in space, Zerg attacks Buzz's ship again and takes the crystal himself. Buzz shoots the crystal, and the explosion kills Zerg. After the group safely crash lands on the planet, Buzz decides to remain on Tkani Prime and accepts it as his new home with the hypercrystal gone. Burnside arrests Buzz, Izzy, and the group in plans to detain them for their recklessness. Still, he changes their mind because of their bravery in defeating Zerg. Instead, Burnside appoints Buzz as the new Space Ranger Corps leader, and Buzz selects Izzy, M.O., Darby, and Sox as his trainees. Sometime after, Buzz and his trainees embark on a mission to stop suspected hostile threats using a new hypercrystal. That was all from the video. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this.